We often look for shortcuts, ways to transform things quickly, while in Nepal that's literally happening underground. Today we're doing a deep dive into two really groundbreaking road projects that are carving out, you could say, a new era for the country. Our mission is to unpack how these tunnels are changing transport, safety, and even trade. It's fascinating, isn't it, how a piece of infrastructure, like a tunnel, can fundamentally reshape daily life and a nation's landscape. We're not just talking about concrete and steel here. This is about connection, about unlocking potential that was, well, geographically constrained before. Okay, let's start with the first big one. Nepal's first major road tunnel, the Nagtunga Nabis Tunnel. This is basically the western gateway into Kathmandu, right? Aimed at fixing that awful traffic on the Prithvi Highway. Exactly that. It's a huge undertaking. Uh, 2.68 kilometers long, burrowing under the mountains. And the progress is pretty impressive. As of late 2024, they were already at like 82% completion. 82%. Yeah. Wow. So the main digging is done. Yeah, the main tunnel and importantly, the evacuation passage, you know, for safety, they're both fully excavated and lined. Now they're moving on to the systems like modern ventilation, lighting. Yeah. All the stuff that makes it usable and safe long term. And this isn't just Nepal going it alone, is it? There's collaboration involved. Right. It's a government of Nepal project, but with significant technical and financial backing from JICA, that's the Japan International Cooperation Agency, they're aiming for completion by 2026. So what does this actually mean for, say, a regular person, hmm. a farmer maybe, trying to get goods to the city? Ah, that's where you see the real impact. Think about it. Much shorter travel times to and from Kathmandu, maybe cutting the journey time in half even. For that farmer, it means produce gets to market fresher, less spoilage, better income. It's a direct boost to trade. So better flow, better trade, more tourism potential too, I imagine. Definitely. Smoother traffic flow, improved safety on what was a congested route. It just makes the whole region more accessible and boosts mobility. Okay, so that tunnel helps connect the capital. But Nepal's geography, I mean, the east-west routes have always been challenging, especially with landslides. Precisely. And that brings us to the second project, which many are calling a real game changer, the Siddhababa Tunnel. Where is this one located? This one's between Butwal and Palpa. And it's critical because it cuts right through one of the most notoriously landslide-prone sections of highway in the entire country. Right, I've heard about that stretch. So a tunnel is the solution to bypass that danger zone entirely. Essentially, yes. It's about 1.126 kilometers long, designed as a double lane road with sidewalks. And there was some big news recently. They actually achieved the breakthrough in January 2025. Breakthrough meaning the two ends met underground. Exactly. A huge moment in tunnel construction. This one's being built by China State Construction Engineering Corporation, uh, CSAEC. It's under what they call an EPC model engineering procurement construction. So CSAEC handles the whole thing. And the timeline for this one. The target completion date is March 22, 2027. Okay, so the impact here. It's obviously more than just speed, given the landslide problem. Oh, absolutely. The number one impact is safety. Eliminating those frequent, often deadly landslide delays and blockages. This means a much safer, far more reliable east-west trade route. Think year-round accessibility. Which must be transformative for local communities and national commerce. Totally transformative. Consistent travel, reliable goods transport. It just changes the whole economic equation for that region and beyond. So putting these two projects together, Nugdunga and Siddhababa. Yeah. It feels like a really significant step for Nepal's infrastructure. It absolutely is. It shows, I think, a, a real commitment to modernization, to overcoming these immense geographical hurdles. Resilience, really. These aren't just tunnels. They're strategic investments. Reducing risk, unlocking trade, making travel smoother. It connects back to what you said at the start about transformation. Mm -hmm. They are engineering marvels, no doubt. But their national significance is uh, much broader. They're enabling connections, enabling growth. It's really something to see how these projects will save time, make things safer, and just unlock so much economic potential. Yeah, it's a powerful demonstration of targeted infrastructure. So to wrap up, what's a final thought for our listeners to chew on? Well, maybe this. It's interesting how these projects, which are literally hidden underground, actually bring a nation's vision for its future right to the surface. It makes you think, doesn't it? How these unseen advancements beneath our feet can shape lives and economies in profound ways, far beyond the tunnel entrance, really laying the groundwork for what comes next.